If you're planning a car trip tonight, something to give you second thoughts about taking your pet for a ride. A new crash test shows just how dangerous it is, even if your dog is strapped in tight. ABC's David Curley with the jarring results. There isn't a lot that makes a dog happier than lapping up the wind out a car window. More and more owners, though, worried about their pet safety are using restraints. But are they safe? Look at this crash test dummy dog and how the restraint breaks when the brakes are slammed on. And a lot of these are failing. Oh, a lot of them are failing. For the last several months, the Center for Pet Safety has been using a third-party test lab to see how the restraints on the market actually work. A dummy dog wearing several different versions. This research is being funded by the car company Subaru, which says one half of its owners are also pet owners. My dog Bell loves to sit in the back seat with the window down. The problem with these restraints, say the Pet Safety Center and Subaru, is that there are no safety standards, no actual minimums for performance in a car. If you're worried about a product you own, the advice is to go to the maker's website and look for their test video. Look for the video. You want to um, contact the manufacturer, find out what weight the product has been tested to, and you want to try and find that product that will allow the pet to stay on the seat for the entirety of the video. The test with crash test dummy dogs just wrapping up. The results out this fall could change the debate and the standards for what is safe. David Curley, ABC News, Washington.